In this video, we are going to look at how to customise pages in Bloom. Pages in Bloom can be customised. On a page with two sections, such as a picture and a text box, you can adjust the size of both parts by changing the position of the divider. Place your mouse pointer on the gap between the sections and you will see that your mouse pointer changes to a double-headed arrow. Click and drag to change the size of the sections. Bloom gives you a preview of the changed picture size, as well as showing you the percentage of the page given to each section. I have now allocated 40% to the text box and 60% to the picture. To change how many pictures and how many text boxes are shown on the page and where they are placed, turn on Change Layout Mode. Click the grey area on the Change Layout button. Now, when you bring the mouse pointer over the text box and picture placeholder, you can see some plus symbols and divider marks. The plus symbols are buttons, which you can use to add new sections. When the divider line is horizontal, the plus button adds a section above or below the existing one, making it shorter. When the divider line is vertical, the plus button adds a new section alongside the existing one, making it narrower. When you click the button, the new section is added. Next, you need to tell Bloom if you want to have a picture or text in that section. Click the option you want to use. If at any time you make a mistake or change your mind, you can delete the section using the X button in the top right corner of the section. Every time you add a section, Bloom divides the previous section into two equal parts. If you want to have a larger and a smaller section, use the divider to adjust the relative sizes of the two sections. Choose the content for the new section. When you have finished customising the page, turn off Change Layout Mode. To do this, click the red side of the Change Layout button. Now you can edit the page as normal. If you want to reuse this layout within the book, click the arrow shown below the page in the Pages sidebar on the left. Click Duplicate Page. Now you can drag the duplicate page to a new location in the book. When you add a new page to a book, one of the layout options is Custom. This is an entirely blank page which you can customise using the Change Layout controls. When you add a custom page, Change Layout mode is turned on for you automatically. This is because you need to make some choices before you can add content to the page. As before, these buttons divide the page into two sections, one above the other. And these buttons divide the page into two side-by-side -side sections. We will start by dividing the page into two left and right halves by using the plus sign here. Now we basically have two columns. We will now divide the right section into upper and lower sections. Bring the mouse pointer over the section and then click on one of the plus symbols. We now have three sections. We need to specify what goes in each section. Click on picture or text to make your choice in each section. If you want to adjust the width and height of the sections, you can do that by hovering the mouse over the dividing line until you see the pointer change to the Move Divider icon. Now you can click and drag the divider to a new position. We now have a page layout that is not like any of the layouts provided. To use the page, turn off Change Layout Mode and you can edit the page like any of the other pages. In this video, we have learned how to adjust the size of the sections on a page. We have learned how to turn Change Layout Mode on and off. We have looked at how to divide sections and how to choose whether text or a picture is displayed in each section.
We also saw how to add a page layout called Custom to create a new layout on a blank page. We also learned how to duplicate a page within a book in order to reuse a custom layout.